Hi everyone. So I have some happy mail today. This just came in and it came from my good friend Karamia's Corner, aka Clarissa. Thank you very much and I'm really excited to see what we have here. Um, it's a medium sized priority mailbox but it's very heavy. So let me go ahead and open the box off camera and then I'll pull out what's inside. Okay, so just give me a second. And I'm back. All right, so I'm just gonna pull this out in no particular order. So let's see what she sent me. All right, for the, so the first thing I'm gonna pull out here is a Daiso bag. Now, she always sends me a Daiso bag. Her and our friend Kat always send me one, and this one has a cute sleeping puppy on it. And this must have been from, yeah, obviously Christmas. And it's a really good, um, durable one. So I always like using these. I keep them in my car so that when I'm uh, shopping, I've always got a backup bag to use because I'm so sick and tired of the plastic bags getting all over the place. The next thing I'm gonna pull out here is, woohoo, she, oh, it's a little bent, hold on. Let me try to unbend it. It is the, um, and she featured this in her Daiso haul. It's the photogenic sheet. So like, you know, if you're wanting to do flat lays, um, you have, looks like eight different styles to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and get closer. So as you can see there, I've already got this pretty much on my mat here, but um, you know, it's always good to have other options. And what, I think this was $1.50, right Clarissa? It's not bad, you know, it's not very big, but still it's pretty good size for flat lays. Um, let's see, what else is in here? Oh, she got me the tray to go with my um, bowls that she sent me, the lacquer bowls from Daiso for like the miso soup and I believe for the rice. So now I've got the matching tray. Awesome, thank you. I have, what's this? Huh, top drawer, tools for nomads. Okay, ooh, oh, this is in Berkeley? Oh, I have to go next time I go visit the Bay Area. Oh, this is awesome. So it's a catalog of just like accessories. Oh, I like these. Japanese pocket carry tools, love that. Oh yeah, have to go there. I know these are probably really pricey. Uh, yeah, like the tumbler is like $35, but handkerchiefs glasses those are readers so this must be an oh okay so I can order from online cool and then I've, it's got the addresses to the stores that are in Japan yes I definitely want to check this place out Clarissa it's pretty awesome okay looks like there is a ooh notebook in here for 2022 oh and napkins. Oh, this is, this is a journal. You know what? Maybe I should use this to keep track of like my YouTube stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. I love that. It's really cute. And I'm not gonna, I don't wanna use it for work because it would be a waste. So we've got some beautiful napkins here. I think these she got from um, Dollar Tree. And then these, these are really pretty. So they're, I'm gonna definitely use these as backgrounds for, um, I'm gonna decoupage for my, uh, what do you call them, time card um, collages. So we have this here, it says Barbie for your niece, whoever, Lily, or whoever wants this. Cute little wrapping. Okay, let's see, because I'll, I'll rewrap it, don't worry. I'm just curious to see what Barbie. I think this was a color reveal that her daughter got. And, yep, oh, she'll like this because she loves this color. Yeah, cute shoes too. So I'll definitely um, give that to her. I just saw her earlier. We went to lunch over at Cracker Barrel. You probably don't know what that is. Look it up, Cracker Barrel <laughs> here in the South. So we have a wrapped gift here. Open this last. Okay, well, we'll open that last. I'm gonna cover my phone because it keeps on beeping. Somebody's messaging me. So what do we have here? A lathering net. Okay, you know what? The funny thing is, is that I do need this because I bought um, some aloe vera, like 
it's kind of like a face wash that was on clearance for a dollar over at Marshall's. It's a Korean brand and it actually is pretty good. I like that it's, because right now with it being so cold in the 20s, and then you walk in with the heater, it's all dry air, and in, I have oily skin, but it's been drying it out in patches. So I've been using that foaming wash, and um, it's actually kind of helped my skin. It kind of cleared it up a bit, and it's moisturized it, but I still have to use like an aloe vera spray, and that's kind of like, yeah, that's kept my skin like sealed, moisture-wise. So this actually is really nice. I'm gonna use this. I'll probably use this tomorrow, but thank you. That's from Dollar Tree. Um, what else here? Pull this thing out. Oh, I see something at the bottom. Look at that. Oh, self-inking stamp. How cute! It's, um, Sumiko Garashi. Oh, look at that. These are the images. Oh, I think they're upside down. Hold on, let me focus for you. Is it? Oh. I hope it's focusing. That is too cute! I'm gonna use that in my, um, Hobonichi. And so we have this one here. Oh, it's a lucky bag. Oh, wow, Clarissa, did you tell me already about this? I don't remember. So let's see what's inside. So it's a Fukubukuru. Um, I don't know if this is Japanese or if this is Chinese, but probably Japanese. So every, if you don't know what a Fukubukuru is, every New Year's, Japanese um, retails, retail stores will get to you know pile up all the stuff that they didn't sell for the year and in order to get rid of it they stick them in these bags what they call fukubuku or lucky bags and you know the items that they put in the bags all together will be worth way more than what they sell the bag for so they'll sell the bag for like anywhere from like who knows five bucks 50 bucks to 100 bucks um and you know you get lucky especially with the clothing ones you know, you'll buy like a $75 bag and everything in the bag will be worth like 400, right? The best ones that I've seen so far are like the handbag ones where they're spending like, you know, $100 or $200 and they're getting like 400 to $600 worth of like purses and wallets and you know, all kinds of stuff. So I would definitely love to be in Japan for New Year's because that would be pretty awesome to go shopping. Okay, so in this little packaging here, she sent me, I believe this is a pair of scissors. Yep, there you go. This will be good for travel because they're just small and compact. So, thank you. I always like this, so let's see. It's Year of the Tiger. Okay, I am so curious. I wasn't expecting this, Clarissa. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. Oh my gosh, where did you get all this? Where was this from? This is amazing. Or did you put this together? Maybe you put this together, I don't remember. But Tokidoki Magnets from Daiso. We've got um, a weekly calendar, monthly and weekly calendar with a sumogarashi. That's so cute. So I have some um, chopsticks here. Aw, hello bear with friends. I need to get better at using chopsticks. This is a magnetic sheet um, with Tokidoki characters. Um, Donatella, <laughs> I think that's what it was. I forgot what the cactus one is. But that's all so cute. We got more stickers here. We've got, you know, these are also from Daiso. Oh, I love these. These are rub-ons. Definitely gonna use those. Um, this one is a mask case. Oh, sorry, here's another sticker. This is a mask case. So as you can see here, you would just, if you're using the disposable mask, that's how it would go in. But this is almost like traveler's notebook size. Let's see what this is. A little something from Legion of Honor Museum. And I love her little wax seal there. It's like I don't want to open it because the packaging is too cute. All right. So, let me try. That's the thing. It's like you don't want to ruin the way that the wax seal was put on there. Actually, let 
actually, let me just cut this. Might be better. So you're trying to be really careful. <laughs> Sorry it's taking so long for me to open this. Great use of um, reuse of a magazine um, page. There we go. A coaster, oh, of course, of my favorite city, San Francisco. All right, so what do we have here? Oh, it's a die. She said, that's right, she had got a, ha a whole like bag full, like so actually, how many bags did you get? Two or three of like various dies and stamp sets. So this one here is card sentiments. I guess you would, this is the card itself and you would just like, yeah, trifold card. And it comes with the stamps. I've got like button ones here. And of course, like the doily ones. Here's some more stamps. I don't think I have this one, Clarissa. My favorite things. And a cute little calendar. Actually, I'm gonna use this one at work because I believe I can hang it, or at least I'll try to. Yeah, so that is the Happy Mail that my friend, Karamia's Corner, sent me. So cute. It's really cute that she sent me a lucky bag, so I said and um, I'm very pleased with all the things that I got. Thank you so much, Clarissa. It was actually a surprise to see that I got everything within two days, considering, you know, with the way that mail has been, um, you know, coming along. So I'm gonna put a lot of this stuff to good use. So let me just, oh, I forgot. I th I thought I was already done, and yet I, st I forgot I still got to open that one. Because she did say open it last. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this one. Let's see what we have. Oh my god, who is blowing my phone up? What is the, Clarissa, oh my God, you sent me one of your junk journals. Oh my gosh, now Clarissa has been making and selling junk journals. Oh my gosh, this is like beautiful, look at that. Oh, I love it. I love this whole vintage look and especially with the picture. And she's Asian too. Ha! Huh, look at that, Miss UP. Crown Queen, uh, Queen of the Isles, Philippine Carnival. Miss Paz de las Reyes E. I can't read the last name. Sunsu. Wow, this is this is gorgeous. Look at that. <gasps> where is that? Oh my God! Where did you find these pictures? Look at that. I love the dresses. This is just, see that's my problem. When, if with these kind of junk journals, I just almost like don't even want to like put anything on them because it's just so beautifully crafted. You know, it's like, I, I just love how everything turned out and I just want to like keep it preserved in that state. <laughs> but I know I need to use it. This is too beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry if this was not all the way in frame here. Okay, there we go. Look at that, tea, either tea or coffee stained. With lots of ephemera. I have a little pocket album in here or keepsake notebook. A 
another one with a lot of ephemera and I like the little dangly there. Love this paper. Oh, that feels like it's rub-ons also. Beautiful. I like how you were able to incorporate the wax seals in there. Oh, this is so beautiful. With the old-fashioned um, dresses back in the Philippines. It's like during probably our grandmother or great-grandmother's time. So where did you get the pictures? You got to tell me. I'm going to have to show it to my mom. She's going to also ask me the same thing. Where did she get the pictures? I like that stamp. I think it's a Tim Holtz, isn't it? Beautiful. And I love that it says Karamea's Corner. Handmade with love. <laughs> with my name on it. This is so nice, Clarissa. I love the pen there. Everything about this. I love the colors too. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'm going to really cherish this um, junk journal. That's really amazing. Now get to work and make some more to sell. <laughs> All right. So this is the happy mail that I got from my friend, Karamia's Corner. All right. I'll see you guys again. Bye.